Hey, in this video I'd like to share with you a few legendaries that I've acquired which boosted my minion uh, necro build to a pretty decent level. I'll show you a quick few fights and then I'll show you what the gear is all about and my build quickly. You can pause at any time the video to see what am I doing. Uh, this is not a final build obviously because I still got a long way to get to the top level but it is what it is. Playing a veteran, almost level 50. Let's go. Okay, here comes the... Oh, it's not a boss, it's in the lead, dammit. But, it is what it is, I mean. Okay, this is gonna be an interesting one. Let's see how fast we can deal with this. Pretty fast. Okay, now it should be the boss. Let's see how fast this guy's gonna go down. For the Book of the Dead, I am using Reapers and the guys who uh, reap the flesh and uh, forming corpses. Really useful stuff. Uh, skeleton mages are bone mages and I'm using the one that uh, helps them to survive a little bit more and they deal a little bit more damage. So these guys just shred everything man. And for the golem I'm using the iron golem and I'm using for uh, every fifth attack it causes shockwave. Not vulnerability because for vulnerability I'm using something else. And by the way if I mispronounce stuff I do apologize I am from Ukraine sometimes I mispronounce stuff. Now not to make the video super long this is how my tree looking at like. You can pause at any time to view a little bit everything more in a little bit more details. First legendary that helps me out is increase your maximum number of skeleton mages by two. Second legendary that really helps me out is your maximum number of skeleton warriors is increased by three and it's because it's a necklace so it's really cool. I got this one from gambling. The helmet I got it from in event. The next super useful thing is uh, this, your skeletons gain increased damage while alive up to 40% because it's a two-handed weapon that's why it's 40% if I were to put on a one-hander it would have been 20% and I didn't actually uh, get a legendary with this uh, effect I actually went to a dungeon which I am going to always do if I'll be restarting my necromancer and that would be the first thing I'm going to do is go to this dungeon uh, Aldur Wood and that's where you can unlock that power, right? And afterwards you can apply it to, to your armor at any moment that you feel like. So, really boosted my stuff. And the final piece that actually made a big difference is each time one of your summoning minions damages an enemy, they gain 11% uh, attack speed for 3 seconds, up to 33%. So... These are the ones I absolutely love. Now, obviously, I have others, uh, such as this one, getting a barrier. Uh, consuming a corpse has 30% chance to spawn a blood orb. Okay. I mean, it's blood orb is still good, but still doesn't play a big difference. Then this one kind of does uh, deal 9.5 damage every time you stand still, but I don't usually stand still. So it triggers time to time. You know, especially when I'm channeling, then it triggers, so it's cool. But I need to inflict curses all the time, so this one kind of plays a role time to time, I would say. I'll put it this way. Uh, Bloodlands, totally useless, because <laughs> I don't use it. Uh, corpse ten Tendries, just love it. That's what I use to make vulner uh, vulnerability on all of the enemies, so I absolutely love it. Like, for the uh, eff effects or aspect, oh, uh, hold on. Alright, so for the affixes, I keep kind of like conf confusing these two, right? I personally love to focus on my minions, so anything that has minion attack speed, summoning skill damage, uh, what else, what else, minion life, that's my go-to. This, this, because my build is focused only on my minions and I'm like the punching bag or the guy who does curses left and right. This is a cuz, that is a cuz. <laughs> Who remembers the mummy movie, huh? Alright, so yeah, 
these are my go-to man everything else I'm still playing around with the build just to kind of like finalize stuff I mean I'm almost level 50 so definitely I'll be upping my uh, world difficulty and essentially once I come up with my uh, minion summoning build then I'll make a more detailed info uh, video about it so I hope you found this useful some information you might have found useful some maybe not I don't know uh, but do comment down uh, below your thoughts maybe your feedback and your suggestion uh, if you're playing also a uh, minion uh, necromancer maybe some uh, information that I haven't mentioned or maybe I don't know about it what do you think would be super useful did you find anything super useful for yourself from this video you know this that kind of thing and yeah so uh, thanks a lot for watching I hope you enjoyed the show and if you did you know the drill don't forget to smack that like comment down below please make sure not to uh, swear because those comments get triggered by YouTube nobody see them nobody can read them nobody can respond to them so do have that in mind and I will see you on the next video